Crossing the Reed Sea. All right. I am. I do not have high hopes for this level. This is the second fastest uh, two-two level in the entire game, if I'm not wrong. It, it's fast. It's fast. So yes, I'm in a bit of a bet. I'm in a bit of a bind right now, ain't I? This is crossing the Reed Sea. It is pretty dang hard. It's it's nice looking. It's one of my most favorite levels in the game because it's a two-sided level that isn't symmetrical. I mean, um, look at all the other levels of the game. Um, like what? Um, let me think. Weighing of the heart. This is not. Whatever. They're all symmetrical. This one isn't it. It's a bit of an oddball in that sense because most Tutu levels in Hotsaw otherwise are symmetrical because it's easy to design it that way for one and for two, um, it really is easy to design that way. If you want to design a level like this, non-symmetrical, then yeah, it's a bit harder. So that's its oddball status in the Luxor series. Get that tree chain. It was a scorpion. Nah, whatever. I can live with a scorpion. Not the worst power-up I've ever seen. Not the best, not the worst. I'll take it. Plus, scorpion is usually useful, useful as tech late game anyway. Except when stuff like this happens. Why does this keep happening to me? Oh well. We'll never know. The real answer is that uh, the game hates bonus. Are you satisfied? I mean, you guys knew this already. But, whatever. Now you know the game really legitimately has a gripe against me. And there's another reverse, and whatever. See, this is why you have to score chains and combos. This is the reason, lads. This is the reason. Anyway, you can pull up some tricky aiming with the tunnels to aim at stuff you normally shouldn't be able to aim at. But, yeah. On the whole, we're doing good, considering I haven't gotten a chance to quick kill. It's pretty easy to quick kill segments in this level. You can do so by a fireball or lightning ball, provided for the fireball provided it's not being blocked off, of course. Because you see, the water path does block off the top path, so yes, that is a point of contention to know. Also, I did a lot worse than this level the last time I played at it. Somewhat a lot worse. I'm pretty alright with the way this is going. I can't complain. No sorry, I can't. Okay, that was a bit close. Let's not have that happen again. Oh! Well, I completely saw something different from what I actually shot there, so... Alright, now it's gonna get bad. This is why uh, this level is mean. When it starts to congruate the spheres and there are like a ton of them, and the areas to hit them are like pretty, pretty, pretty small, so yeah. Alrighty, let's hopefully not die. Yes, let's not die. That's what we should do, okay? Let's not die. Oh wow. So far, so freaking good. I missed that. I was gonna score a gap shot, but to be honest, why? Unlike Zoma, you don't get points for scoring gap shots, and I guess I can sort of see why. Scoring gap shots is actually a lot harder here than in Zoma. But still, you should get points for scoring gap shots, extra bonus points, because gap shots are tricky to pull off in both games. Then again, you already have a lot of easy ways to score points in this game, like... Oh wow, 100%! That's very nice. Well, this level was not as hard as I remember it. Oh, okay. Whatever. Stuff being easier than I remember is really, really good. That is crossing the Reed Sea. We're almost at 32 lives. Keep in mind, this is expert mode, and I have been missing quite a fair bit of coins. 
But this is what happens when you like do not lose a single life. Your life counts skyrockets. Which is good because in this game, unlike in the original, they actually add points to the number of lives you have at the end. So yeah. In the original you had to use a gimmick, you had to go to a uh, Lair of the Jackal God and lose as many lives as you possibly freaking can while replaying Lair of the Jackal God like 10,000 freaking times to rack up your uh, score count. It's really really monotonous. I almost bought that up. I almost bought that up. See, that's what I mean, when I, I see a ball, I'm tempted to grab it, but I have to remember if it's a fireball to swap away if I get something like a wild ball, so... It's tricky to remember, and when you're tense and whatever, it can really mess you over. All jokes aside, this is Mummy Dearest. This level is... ridiculously easy. I mean, like, I get it. I really do get it, because this is like what? Stage 12, but uh... Some of the stage 3 alliteration of levels really do not belong in stage 3, this is one of them. Then again, Emberhawk's Folly didn't belong in stage 3 in the original either, but it's, it is a stage 3 level, so... We cannot complain there, unfortunately. We just take whatever level the designer decides to stay free. Maybe the, the designer is biased towards his own level and said, Alright, I like these, this hel heliographic level. Let's make it a stage 3 level. I must admit, that biasness does have... That, that, that could explain it, but then again, the real reason is... This game is not made to kill, unlike certain mods. Um, so, um... The honest truth is, it could be just for balancing for all I know. It's like, alright, you just defeated the stupidly hard opening of the mouth ceremony. Have Festival of Jubilee. That sort of balancing can help. And it is, uh, it's a pretty good thing to novice players and stuff like that. Because, honestly speaking, uh, if stuff wasn't rebalanced, you may not have the chance to score lives. And then, yeah, you may actually game over. It's a shocker. A game over might actually happen. But on the whole, uh, quick killing a mummy nearest is a bit harder because the level like instantaneously blocks off immediately. You might have saw that it zooms up like almost immediately and gives you like almost nothing to wait here. Like you see, I have barely anything to work with once the danger zone is filled. I'm saving that. As you can see, knowing that the fireball and lightning ball can quick kill is one of the most cheapest tricks in the game, but it really does help. It really does help. So, uh, how was your day, mommy dearest? I'm sure you had a wonderful, wonderful day before this. I mean, like, it's not that like, you get wrecked by every player who plays this game, right? I'm sure some players have a somewhat hard time with you. Right? 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 Who am I kidding? This level's easy. You really should not die on it. It's like pretty much horizontal almost all the way. There's like no reason to die on it. The only real gimmick is that it... The beginning does immediately go up and stuff like that, but... There's no excuse, really. It, there, there's no excuse for this. There's no excuse for this level being such a freaking joke. And honestly, yeah, this level is... Freaky. That's all I shall say. That is Mummy Dearest! And I'm no, despite the fact that this is called Mummy Dearest, I'm not screaming to my mommy, MOMMY! Mummy Dearest is so hard! Actually, uh, that sounds completely out of, out of context, ignore me. But no, that, that level is not like hard or anything, so you wouldn't go screaming to your mommy that the level's hard, so yeah. Stellar of Thermosis, again as I mentioned, the gimmick is you, you, you shouldn't let it reach the top arc. If you do, uh, bad stuff happens. 
you'll have a bad time. I don't want to. I don't want to kill the bottom one because it'll instantly spawn another spear, and I do not want that happen. Another line segment. I do not want that happening. Not immediately. That is. It's gonna happen anyway now. So yeah, let's do it. Multicolored gems again. I have. I really love the multicolored gems. I really love them. It's not like I'm biased or anything. I really do like the multicolored gems. Wow. Am I gonna have a repeat of the get wrecked omen rising video? I got like ridiculously awesome power up one day and just like wrecked Stellar of the Moses. But I don't think it's gonna happen like almost immediately. I mean like good power up luck happens to everyone eventually. Real gimmick of Stellar of the Moses is this level spawns really freaking quickly. Like you see right there, right there, a new line segment spawns. That's really quick and that actually leads to this level actually becoming a bit of a trend because it's really hard to hit the outer half. So this is why you buy insurance. This is why you buy insurance. True story, bros. This level makes you want to buy insurance. Anyway. So far so good. Top line isn't blocked anymore because I completely decimated the line segment that would have normally blocked it. Which is good because normally as I mentioned this this top arc would be blocked and yeah bad stuff happens because you see you can't hit or do nothing here. Okay another double reverse that is worthless. Is somebody knocking on the door? Let me check that. I checked it. It was some jokers playing a practical joke with an air horn. Thanks for ruining my concentration. Okay, so. Stellar of the Moses. Wow, look at this. Wrecked. A pretty hard one. Its ending segment is deceptively annoying. And in this level, there is uh, 12, there's 6. It's. A new line segment spawns in really freaking quickly, too quickly for my liking, honestly. Okay, so let's time you right. You see this is I can't do nothing. Can't do nothing here, jokers. Yeah, give me a red, thank you. Okay, there's one, there's two, there's another power. Ah, oh, it wasn't a fireball or lightning ball. The the combo breaker has been ruined. Okay, reverse, nice. Like you see, Stellar of the Moses is a very long level, but it's a level that is actually hard even though it's long. Pay attention folks, just because the level is long doesn't mean it's easy. This level is pretty tricky in this level because it is long. You see, you can't shoot the top up when a new one's low. It's a bit annoying, this stage on a whole is... It's pretty annoying, but... With quick killing, thankfully, this stage is... Pretty wrecked, too. As soon as I score this, say goodbye. Hey, lightning ball, too bad I'm not gonna use it to quick kill. Ooh, okay. So that's all the normal 15 stage. That's all the normal 15 status that first appear. You little brat conus. Now, Megiddo forces, attack. Summon forth your army. Today shall be known as the invasion of the Hyksos. 